Let's spend some time configuring views for the Phoenix A320. When you load into an aircraft for the first time, Chaseplane will automatically import the aircraft's default views. Those views are then automatically assigned a group based on their type. For example, I now have 12 instrument views and seven passenger views inside of the aircraft. From this default set of views, I can now modify them to my liking. Let's expand those groups and have a look at them. This is a great initial set of views. Let's adjust them to make them feel a bit more human. I'll adjust my MCDU view to be a bit closer to the perspective of the pilot. When I'm done, I can hold control on my keyboard and save the view. Now I'll get rid of the captain and first officer identifiers for the MCDU. A little tip to know, if you name multiple views the same, a suffix will automatically be added to help you differentiate between them. Now let's go to the EFB. I'll zoom it out a little using my scroll wheel and save the new position. I'll also rename them like the MCDU views. While I adjust those views, it's important to mention that you don't have to keep the chase plane window open to change views. You can set shortcuts to go directly to a specific view or rotate between all views within a group. Be sure to check our tutorial video about shortcuts. This is it for the instrument views. Now let's focus on the passenger area. I'm gonna move the cabin view on this side of the cockpit door. You'll see why later. Now, the aircraft comes with six predefined views for passengers. I'd like to make my own wing views, so I'll delete the imported ones. Deleting views only happens in chase plane and doesn't affect config files. By holding Ctrl and Alt on my keyboard, I can quickly delete the views I no longer need. Let's set up our first passenger view. I'll find a seat in front of the aircraft with a good outside view. At the bottom of each column, you can click the plus icon to create a new view. I will select the passenger group, confirm the options, and name this new view. You can obviously rename it the way you want. I'll name it with the seat number. Then I'll move the view into position and save it. Let's move to our second passenger view. Another way to create views is by using the duplicate shortcut. If you hold the Alt key on your keyboard, you can duplicate a view with the new position with one click. Now, let's move it to the right position and save it. I'll save you some time and skip ahead. Now that we're done creating our new passenger views, we can go back to the cockpit. One of the core features of Chase Plane is Smart View. It enables you to switch to views simply by looking in their general direction. For example, here, if I hold both my right and left mouse buttons down, I will see Smart View labels appearing. Those are all the same views you'll see in the internal column. I can release the left mouse button to select a view. You can also make those switches quickly without ever seeing the labels on your screen. When you enter an instrument or mounted view using Smart View, it will appear at the bottom of the chase plane window. You can exit Smart View by clicking on it, selecting another view, or repeating the mouse combination that got you here. Earlier, we moved the default cabin view to the cabin door. Smart View gives us quick and easy access to the cabin from the pilot seat. We can move around the cabin and use the same Smart View features to sit in passenger seats. This feature feels very natural to use. From there, if I look back to the front, I will have two options, pilot or co-pilot. Instrument views are excluded from the selection here until you're back in the pilot seat. What we've done in internal view also applies to external views. This aircraft by Phoenix has so many little details 
and we now get to see areas that were impossible to get to with the default camera system. Now let's create a new view that will be positioned in the wheel well of the aircraft. I'll use my keyboard to adjust the view to the rough location I want it to be. We're close but not quite there. We can refine the view position by using the adjust button at the bottom of the screen. This is also accessible from the view editor. When I'm done, I can go back and press Next. From here, I'll be presented with a list of suggestions on how to name this new view. You can add name suggestions in the group this view belongs to. For this one, I'll choose Wheel Well. Finally, I can reorganize views in this list by simply dragging views around. With that, you should be able to customize views for each aircraft in your hangar. Alternatively, you can grab new views and groups from the community section. Thank you for watching and welcome to Chase Plane.